Hi everybody and welcome back to Cozy Corner Crafts and today's craft is for December 11th. So it's going to be our first Christmas ornament and we want to thank again ACI Architects Inc. for helping us with providing our crafts for free for you guys. Start with your craft. So the first thing that you're going to have in your craft kits is three pipe cleaners. They're cut in half and you're going to make a snowflake today. So the next thing you're going to have is you're going to have beads, a whole bunch of beads so that you can put them onto your snowflakes. Then you're going to have a lovely one of these, probably the bigger one. It's going to be for the center of your snowflakes. And the last thing that's going to be in your kit is a string so that you can put it on your Christmas tree. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pipe cleaners and you're going to make them crossed and then you're going to have it that you're going to twist them up so that you can have them all stuck together. So what I'm doing is I'm just twisting them together until they stay very good so they won't come apart. I think that's about right. And so they're going to be a little bit smaller than they were when we started. And so then I'm going to put the arms out like this. Okay, and if you want to, you can trim it up afterwards. But remember, don't use your mom or dad's good scissors, okay? You need to have a wire cutter to cut it. So then all you're going to do is you're going to take your per your beads and you're going to start putting them onto your snowflake. And so you're just going to go on and on and on. And so there should be enough to put, I think, about four beads on each one of your snowflakes. And so if you want to, you can put all white on one. You could put blue on another one. It doesn't matter because remember, I always say it's going to be what you want it to be. Okay, so here's my four on one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of the pipe cleaner and kind of bend it over so our beads won't come off. And also, do you see here? It's kind of a loop. What it is, is you can actually put your string through there too. So let's go on to do the next one. Again, we're just going to fold it over so the beads cannot come off your snowflake. Because that would be sad for them to come off, right? Okay, let's go and get a couple more beads. You should be able to have enough to put four on each of your snowflakes. And so this one I'm going to put three blue, blue ones. And again, we're just going to fold it over. So it's like, so just so the beads won't come off. Because you would hate to put your Christmas uh, on your Christmas tree and then all of a sudden, they're all over the floor. And if you have a baby brother or sister, that wouldn't be very good for them to be putting those in their mouth, right? Okay. And I think I didn't take enough beads unless. So that's okay. So what I'm going to do is our example, you will have enough on your snowflake. And one left. Oh, I've got to twist up the end on those. So then what you're also going to do is when you're going to have it all the way on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my string and I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to make sure, oops, not first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot in the end of the string. So then it's got a loop on it. Now I'm going to go to this one, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to curl it up, and then maybe I'll do a little bit of a twist, but actually it's working pretty good. And what you can also do 
is move your beads up and down your snowflake, however you like. And, oh, we can do this one a little bit smaller. And there is your snowflake. And then the last thing you would do is you would take this. I'm going to take this big one and put it right in the center of my snowflake. So it's kind of sparkly like some of the beads. Okay, so that's your craft for today. And uh, again, I want to thank our sponsor. And we'll hopefully we'll see you at 1030 on Thursdays for Cozy Corner Stories from 10.30 to 11. And we're not quite starting with Christmas ones yet, but I sure hope you liked your Christmas tree last week that we did. Okay, bye guys. We'll see you later.